Tonight's I-Team report, there may be a drug addict in your house, and you may be their supplier. Federal authorities call it an epidemic. Prescription drug abuse is causing overdoses and turning regular people into criminals. ABC 7 investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy joining us tonight with more on this disturbing story. Chuck. It is, Kathy, Ron, popping painkillers, becoming addicted, and then taking extreme measures to get more pills. The silent high. Prescription drug overdoses now outnumber those of heroin and cocaine combined. The abuse by young and old is happening everywhere. Chicago, the suburbs, the rural Midwest. Taxing health care systems and law enforcement resources and wrecking lives. David Ravellis is a student at Elmhurst College. At age 14, the star wrestler began smoking marijuana and quickly moved on to prescription drugs. Six months after uh, my first marijuana use, I, I uh, dabbled into other stuff. I don't even remember what I was doing. I just, whatever I could get my hands on. Ravella says he struggled through high school in and out of nine treatment centers. Thanksgiving 2004, an 18-wheeler hit Cheryl Edwards' car. She fractured her neck and soon became addicted to prescription painkillers. You take pain pills for a length of time, and when you go through withdrawals, that causes pain. Withdrawals cause pain. I looked at pills as my lifeline. I had to have those to operate, to function. Edwards says she continually put herself and her family at risk. Buying pills from a drug dealer that carried a 9mm and was proud to, to tell everyone about it. She lost her home, her marriage fell apart, and her son Stephen also became an addict. It is a common story. We're in a culture where we believe that taking a pill is the, the remedy for most things. Much of it starts legitimately, where someone seeks medical care, has an injury, has surgery, and begins on that dark road down to addiction. Jack Riley is head of the Drug Enforcement Agency in Chicago, where 20% of federal drug agents work prescription drug investigations. During the past year, there were 21 incidents of pharmacy and pain clinic employees suspected of stealing prescription drugs in Cook County. Many others go unreported. Uh, we deal quite frequently with pharmacy robberies where they're breaking into pharmacies, going after a specific controlled substance, oxycotton's one, that they know there is a strong need or market value to sell on the street. According to the National Survey on Drug Use and Health, almost two and a half million Americans used prescription drugs illegally for the first time in 2010. A third were between the ages of 12 and 17. And their kids go into their parents' medicine cabinets and literally take whatever is there because they're not educated on addiction. Opportunities for overdose and respiratory failure are exorbitant. That scares the hell out of me, quite frankly, because we've seen that all the way down into junior high and high school and clearly college. Authorities say some people are pilfering pills from open houses. Real estate agents being concerned, and they should be, about people posing as potential buyers, setting up an appointment to go into a house, uh, to do nothing but go through the medicine cabinet to try to uh, grab those drugs so they can put them on the street for profit. Cheryl Edwards says she never stole pills to feed her addiction. She's been clean for three and a half years, remarried her husband, and her son Stephen is sober now as well. David Ravella says a conversation with his mother saved his life and has kept him sober. My mom looked into my eyes. She said, the family is distancing ourselves from you because... You don't have much time left. And we will not die with you. Former addicts, counselors, and cops all say when pain pills run out, many times heroin becomes the drug of choice. That means a fresh customer base for the Mexican heroin cartels. And tonight, federal authorities in Chicago are concerned the drug cartels will actually begin producing prescription drugs on their own. Mm. And that is frightening. Scary thought. Yeah, yeah thanks, Chuck. One